Hi everyone, this is TJ Muleman, founder and CEO of Standard Co. with another MetaBase tutorial. Uh, today we're going to do a quick walkthrough of how to spruce up a relatively boring looking table. Um, so we're all familiar with visualizations like pie charts and bar charts and line charts and you name the chart and you can do it in MetaBase. But sometimes you want to just display simple data. Um, and that data can be spruced up a little bit to make it more intuitive, more useful, and more helpful. So what I have here is a set, this is a, a data set of teachers and the number of students they have in their class and the number of students that have been quote unquote assessed. They've been given a screener. And so one thing that we want to do is we want to kind of limit the number of fields we show here. We have some metadata fields that we store in our data system. It's called standard data. So we're going to hide those. So to hide those, you want to click on this little editor button right here. And there's a bunch of ways to do all of these things, but this is kind of the easiest. And then you'll notice in the data section, you'll see pick columns. So I'm going to hide all the columns I don't care about which happens to be all of these sort of metadata columns. So I really want name, and I want grade, and I want students, and I want students assessed. Okay, let me go ahead and visualize that. So now, okay, I've got this winnowed down to a little bit of a, a, a smaller set of columns. But there's more I want to do here. You'll notice that we have students and students assessed, right? So we've got, in some cases, all of the students have been assessed 100%. We don't really want to see those. So how would we eliminate those? We could do that with a filter. Um, and so I clicked filter and I'm gonna click custom expression. So if you're familiar with writing SQL, you would do that where you say where total students and total students assessed are equal to each other, right? That's one way to do it in SQL, but we're not in the SQL editor, we're in the question editor and you have to do that through a custom expression. So this is gonna look kind of counterintuitive, but it works. So if I say where total students equals total students assessed. You'll notice it's an equal sign and then another equal sign. Again, it looks kind of goofy, but if I click done, now I have uh, all of the students where all the teachers where they've assessed all of their students. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna say total students assessed is not equal to total students, okay? So basically uh, where I'm basically saying where these two numbers are not the same, where they have not assessed all of their students. So if I click done, oh, whoops, I gotta remove that filter. There we go. Um, so again, this is a filter, a custom expression where I'm saying where the number of students assessed does not equal total students. So this shows me all of the teachers that have students left to be assessed, okay? But I wanna do some more stuff. So let me show you a couple more things. I wanna add a custom column. And I've recorded a video on this in the past, so I'll kind of breeze through this, but it's relatively easy. So I go back to the editor tool, and you'll see here this is custom column, okay? And this custom column, what I'm gonna do here is I wanna know how many, what percentage of the students have been assessed. So I'm gonna simply uh, take total students assessed and divide by total students, okay? So that's gonna give me a percentage of the students uh, uh, that have been assessed. So percent assessed. Okay. So now I have a custom column that does that d division. If I click visualize, now I see total students, total students assessed, and what percent. And the reason we do something like percent is it just adds, it's a little bit more intuitive. It kind of gives you a little bit more guidance on, on what percentage, especially when you're dealing with very big numbers. When you're dealing with small numbers here, it's probably not that necessary, but it's helpful. So now I want to turn percent assessed, this new column I created, into a uh, percent, okay? So now instead of a decimal, 0.12, it's now 12%, which is useful. And I'm gonna show a mini bar chart, which I really like. I love the mini bar chart. The mini bar chart, again, is a visual cue as to how much has been done. So you can see, oh, Ms. Doty here has assessed 90% of her students. And again, visually, I can quickly see uh, that she's almost done, whereas, say, um, the teacher, Ms. Ms. Holmes, has only done 26% of her students. Um, and then there's one more thing I want to do, and I want to... Um, add conditional formatting. So let's just say there's a rule that says if you have assessed 
less than 90% of your students were going to flag that for some reason. So I'm going to pick conditional formatting here, and I'm going to say percent assessed. Okay, I'm going to do single color. I can do color range. Let's, let's play with this a little bit. Um, uh, oh, actually, I'm going to do single color, sorry. Is less than or equal to 90. Okay. Well, I guess I probably got to do 0.9 here. There we go. Um, and let's just say, let's actually just do less than. Okay, so that removes the 90%. So now I just added this little flag, and I'm going to say, let's make it red. So essentially what I did here is I said any um, row where the percent assessed is less than 90%, we're going to flag it as red. Okay, that kind of gives a, 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 a yet another visual cue that um, there is maybe these teachers need to be called upon or, or whatever. And I can go ahead and add that rule. Okay, so I'm now I'm done. So essentially what I did here is I took this very simple table and I added a custom column that allowed me to kind of see the percent of students assessed. I showed this little mini bar to kind of give, again, a visual cue as to how complete it is. I've added a red conditional formatting to show uh, that there are some stragglers here. And then I've removed uh, rows that I don't really care about. That would be where the students, that, that's 100% assessed. So I've taken a very simple table and added some a little bit of life to it so that when you look at it, it, it kind of jumps out at you as to what it's trying to communicate. Hopefully this is helpful and let us know if you have any other meta-based tips or tutorials you'd like to see.